Yes, yo! Yes, yes, yo! You know what it is. It's your boy Gabe Batillo with Tim Router and Timothy Hall. And this is married to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Which way were you going uh, on that one, Andrew? And this I, is... I, what are you, Ryan Seacrest, all of a sudden? I and you're know. playing married to the game. <laughs> That's right. Everything just flew out the window. I was like, I don't know how to intro the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> that was oh great, man. Gosh. I liked it. And this... Is, is this? Is I, wanted, I wanted to hit idol. really. I wanted to hit really hard. <laughs> See if I get my Ryan Seacrest on. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Why not? Oh my gosh! Thank you guys so much for being here. Episode one fifty four. I can't believe it. Uh, it's pretty incredible. And uh, routers in the back of a car. <laughs> I mean, coming to you live from the back of my Yukon. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm see, he's totally going to get truck. stopped by security. I can feel they're like, what's this guy doing in the back of his car with his computer and headphones on? Either I'll be <laughs> either I'll be like nerd alert or they'll be like, sir, you're going to have to come with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can, yeah, exactly. It can you go either have way. have a big NSA decal on your back Yeah, back oh, your I love car. that. It's a great idea. <laughs> Freak people out. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Yes, sir. I am coming to you live from the back of my car because we are here in beautiful seaside Florida where it's still 98 degrees and you're sweating bullets, but it's awesome because it's totally not crowded, which is amazing. Oh, nice. Usually this place gets really nuts and it is dead. Like my car it really, literally is the only one on this block right now, which is really great. So nice. a really great time with the fam. We've got our great friends, Pauline and Pierre down here too, as well. And they have a, they have a, a house here at Seaside. So uh, we've been hanging out, just having a really great time. Piper, has been iffy with the beach because she doesn't like the sand as okay. I think as most three-year-olds kind of go, we got her some aqua socks, which I never thought I'd say I'd say and or purchase. Yeah, what is that? You never, the aqua socks are like little um, neoprene shoes that have like a sole at the bottom and then just neoprene at the top. And uh, it helps protect you from, you know, you can walk on the sand a lot better and it doesn't get sand in there and anything. Is that like water shoes? Exactly. It's we we yeah we called them yeah we didn't call them water shoes. They were aqua socks at the time. Gotcha. But yeah, so we got her those thinking that would help, and not really. But so the first day was a little rough. She basically just sat up at the underneath the umbrella and was just barking orders all day. And then <laughs> um, and then yesterday, I mean, so we're seaside's on near Panama City, and it's on the Gulf Coast, and. First off, the water is like bath water. It's amazing. And it's crystal clear. And there's no waves right now. So it was perfect for her. And she, um, as long as I was like, I was basically kneeling in water in just beautiful water all around me with the little fish all around. And she was standing on my knees and she stayed in the water for like an hour and a half. She turned nice. out, it turned out she loved it. So still is not really walking on the sand, but Hey, I'll take, I'll pick my battles at this point. I know that's right. And, um, so she's doing a lot better and, um, yeah, we're just, we're having a good time. It's nice and relaxing and I can still do the podcast, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, man, it's been, it's been really great. We're all sun kissed. So we're a little burned in, and, and, uh, <laughs> we're all just like, okay, are we going back to the beach to try to get, crispy some more we're going to do something else but i think we're just going to hang we're here for most of the week so it's uh it's just going to be great and it's just nice to nice to get away i love the beach man i miss like i used to go all the time in philly and it's only an hour and 15 minutes away we used to go through the summer through the fall and go surfing and do all that fun stuff and being landlocked in nashville is not helping but um uh, let's see what else is going on so we've got vacation this week um I have not, still not touched my console at all. Um, and uh, so it's just been Hearthstone all the time. And uh, boys, I think we got some new cards coming out. Because, That's right. Because I hit the arena and, of course, lost three in a row. And uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, Lordy, we got some new cards. So that's really, really cool and exciting. And uh, Yeah, what's it called? The something tournament? Yeah. The, the grand uh, the something the tournament. tournament? The yeah, grand tournament. So the there's grand tournament. Yeah. There's all kinds of fun cards that we can play with. I feel like it's, it's just a, whole, a name, right? There's no actual grand tournament of any kind, right? I didn't see one. I, did, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just the cards. <laughs> they would they would certainly advertise that. I need to get back in would. there, but I'm so worried now because it's like there's new cards too. 
I know, but uh, hey, you've had to go through this once before. I know. Yeah, honestly, with what I've got, I'm still using a lot of this, my uh, my true staple ones that I always use anyway. And it's just, you know, it's a card or two that you can throw in that helps. That's the, at least that's the pack I got. I'm sure people have better ones, but mm -hmm. man, it's, it's been a little tougher this month. Like I'm, I'm still ranked at 20 and yeah, I've been struggling too. I mean, I think people are just coming out of the woodworks and, um, cr and just crushing me. And I'm like, dang, like I've, I've been using a lot of the same deck that I used last month. And I'm just getting <laughs> <Exactly>. rocked. <laughs> I know, but I know the feeling. I know it's so, it's so frustrating. But it's not really. Um, it's not because of new cards. It's just because of really crappy luck on my part. Like every time. Yeah, like, that's how I feel too. Know, I've got like two cards left, and I get like a one draw card that's will do absolutely nothing. Like I think Hearthstone hates me because I get I always get the worst cards either right off the bat or right when I need something good. I get the ab absolute opposite of what I need, and then get crushed. <laughs> exactly but it's fun man i'm um i'm still i still love it and I'll, I'll just pick up and play every time i can get and it's fun so that's pretty much it for me vacation hearthstone and uh podcasting in the back of my yukon that's how i'm rolling this week love it yes sir hall gabe you can go next you want me to go next yeah you never go next yeah Whoa. that's true yeah you usually you just go next you don't go next <laughs> usually take, I mean, i'm the guy behind the guy behind the guy that's right you, know you are <laughs> that's right you are um let's see i was in oregon this last week oh nice and new york <laughs> <laughs> how did that how did uh, you swing that one and who booked ex that <laughs> exactly okay Patillo, so we, coast to coast that's right exactly so i think i talked about it last week we were doing fox and friends yes and so that's in new york obviously and so we went up there, did that. That was fine. And it just feels like we've been in New York a lot. Came home on Thursday and then turned around on Friday. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We came home the same day we did Fox and Friends. So we came home Wednesday and then turned around on Friday and flew out to Salem, Oregon. Nice. So um, I got to give a shout out to Zach out there in Portland. I am so sorry we were supposed to meet up and it didn't happen. Oh, and it man. was totally my fault. Hmm. Um. And so Dave, you're um, not being the best ambassador, man. I know yeah, no, I'm being Dave, the worst you're ambassador. You're failing us ever. now. I know. He no worst. longer listens to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Forget those guys, man. They don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh I tell you what, man, just like we weren't even in Portland that long. All we did was fly in, get on the bus, and drive to Salem. Oregon is dope. Oh yeah. I love Oregon. Salem was dope. We ended up going to a, um, a barcade called the Coin Push, and oh no, the Coin Jam. The Coin Jam, I think, is what it's called. Uh, and it was freaking awesome, man. They had great games. Me and my buddy played Mortal Kombat two. I don't remember any of the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I am officially an old man. All, all you like, need to know if, is the uppercut. If you, yeah, exactly. If you saw us both playing. I mean, <laughs> it was, awesome. it looked like two dads just like, ah, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> like it looked like we had never played video games ever. Oh, that's ever. awesome. <laughs> and so, um, we went over to street fighter two and we looked a lot better on that game. Oh yeah. Still a little struggling, <laughs> but a lot better. <laughs> and, uh, so that was fun. Then we did Salem, Oregon. Then we did a, a, we went to a place called Medford, Oregon the next day. Every time you go to Oregon, do you try really hard to pump your own gas? Yeah, I tried this last time. I had no <laughs> idea they had that law or whatever it is going on are over they, there. Are they full service too? Yeah. Yes, you cannot pump your own gas yeah. up in that piece. Jersey's mm -hmm. the same way. Man, yeah. that was struggling because we were. I was trying to return a rental car. And uh, <laughs> it's funny. You know, you want to return it full. Yeah. And no, you can't do that at like midnight. Oh, that sucks. Because everywhere was closed. I was like, well, I guess we're paying the fee. Yes, you are. Um, so uh, that was a good time. Came home on Monday. And then today we have uh, rehearsals for the new tour for the next two weeks. Oh, man. So when we're is, getting after it. When does it officially kick off? The tour doesn't actually start until October 1st. Oh, nice. And that goes, so, are you like out, out then? through december Ooh. through the middle of december all yeah. right and so um that's good so uh of course on the plane playing some witcher 
which was awesome. Sweet. And then um, I came home and I've been putting together a, a let's play of sound shapes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a really fun little game. Sweet. Really fun. And if you're not tapping your foot while you're playing, you're dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead to us by the way <laughs> <laughs> exactly so that's a really really fun game uh so i'm i'm glad to be playing that and trying that out uh and that's it for me hall uh that chocolate chewbacca was just as good as it, it looked <laughs> <laughs> i guess it didn't look that great but it was so good it sounds it uh, sounds delicious <laughs> it was yeah, artisan it chocolate in the shape of Chewbacca. That's amazing. <laughs> what else could you ask for? Yep. I, I don't know. Is that uh, your yeah, exactly. Is that your breakfast? Uh, no, it was. Uh, I, I ate it like right after I took a picture. Oh, nice. I gave him his last rites and everything. So no, no, good, good, good. It was good. Mm. Um, but other than that, I, I just want to talk about The Witcher because uh, really enjoying it. So sweet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I that was awesome. I got a lot of time in with it uh, the other day to keep kind of moving the needle. I kind of feel like if I was just to play the story, I would still it would still take me forever to beat this game. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's so big. It's and massive. you're not just playing the story. Yeah, right. Well, no, I'm I'm doing some side stuff too because it's just that they, they they do a good job of like like you want to actually know some of the side stuff too so it makes more sense like in the main quest too mm-hmm. even with the main stuff though when you go to f- like like i start a main quest and then i forget what i was even doing because i've gotten like so far down the path of right you go to do one thing and then you got to help somebody else out and then you got to help that person out to help that person out it's just and they've oh. got a really strange way of making some of the side quests feel like it is the main story yeah exactly and and when you complete I those don't even side get that qu- well i think it's it's for trophies because when you complete those side quests you do get a trophy for it like there's hmm. uh, see i'm playing on pc so i'll get it in the oh yeah well yeah, there, there will, there no will be for you there will be some serious side missions that are pretty much mini main missions and you end up getting a trophy for it, uh, which is really great. Nice. And I love that because you never know what you're going to get with some of the side missions. Sometimes it's only like five XP or 15 or whatever. And right. then sometimes it's, you get quite a bit and you also get good loot out of it. So yeah, it's man, I love that you're loving this game. This is so up your yeah, alley great. that I, I knew you'd be all over this one. Well, and I didn't think that, you know, I, I was thinking like it kind of like how Skyrim was like, I didn't really care that much about the story, but the gameplay was great in this one. Like the gameplay is pretty good, but the story is also like something that's really propping it up. Yeah. I'm with you on that. The story, I think the story makes it more too. I, I, but that's a good point about Skyrim. Like nobody remembers really the story of Skyrim. They just remember. It wasn't that great. It it was, it's, it was pretty typical, you know, it's it's a typical game. They're like, okay, I'm the greatest person or I have to save the world or what have you. You know, same old, same old. But yeah, and the, the game, story isn't the focus in that game, clearly. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, and in this one, it, it is. It's a lot. It, there's a lot more to it. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's man, I love that. That's good. Oh, it's so great. Almost makes me want to go and play it again. You, you oh, should almost. I, I, I may. I can't believe you beat that thing, man. God, <laughs> yeah, please, that's some time in. Jeez, yeah, Louise. I put, I put a lot of time into that game. <laughs> yeah, I will beat this game, but like. Before November, of course, I yeah, have you're to gonna play. I think Fallout you. 4. I think you can play this through Fallout up till the release of Fallout Four, unless you want to uh, play something sure else. I can. But I think you're. I think <laughs> we're going to be hearing for the next couple of weeks. Paul's playing Witcher. It's just there. So I encountered this uh, this werewolf the other day. There's like a mission where you have to. Uh, like I love the the challenge it gives you in the game. Like I'm playing on the normal difficulty, just like the default one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know exactly world. which one. Yeah, I know exactly yeah, which one you're talking about. About halfway through, like his health bar, like he starts regenerating. Mm-hmm. So the challenge Dude. is like I've got to hurry up and beat this guy, and you just have to wail on him as much as you I can. I was so mad. I had to do that one a couple <laughs> times to tell you the truth. I actually, yeah, I had I, to too. I put that mission on pause. Came back after I did some XP, slaughtered him. It was great. <laughs> oh yeah and that's nice. the thing like those are some of those missions where you're like oh i really want to try and complete this and get it done but i would just kept getting killed so i'm like all right you know what i'm putting this one on pause stick a pin in it and then just went and got i'll be my, back yeah, yeah i'll be back i had better gear and i came back and just took him to school oh yeah i just i 
See, this game is making me play a lot different than I've played these kinds of games. Because with Skyrim, I just like ran in and just like kept oh, yeah. attacking them. Didn't didn't even pay attention to the fact they were attacking me. I just was like, Gun, my blazing. health was so high that I was just like, whatever, I'm just taking you out. With this game, they really make you have to go to that dodge feature and kind of oh, roll yeah. around yes. and stuff. You really have to use the whole toolbox exactly it's it's good because you can use some uh spells you could do spells and you hit them with a light attack like there's different ways to do it i was always quick attacks i like i barely used a a heavy attack yeah it's so hard to it 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 opens you up too long yeah because it gears you it like revs you up a little bit and there's a delay so it was just like spell short attack dodge i mean and you you figure it out as you go along but it, it the fact that you have all these different options and all these ways to do it is great yeah, I've been my my strategy mostly has been like um that shield spell. So basically oh, yeah. throw oh, yeah. a shield, attack him a little bit, dodge some, throw another shield and just keep doing that. And I couldn't do that with the werewolf cuz when he starts nope. regenerating, nope. you can't really right. waste any you don't time. Have no time for that. Nope. Yeah. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> nobody got time for that. I use the fire all the time. Fire was the thing I I focused a lot on cuz I it, had to bust it out on yeah, the man. werewolf. Yeah, you have to with mm-hmm. beasts and that kind of stuff, the fire element's really good. That's so great. glad you like that, man. man yeah, fun. I'm thrilled that you're loving that game. Yeah, it's awesome. Gabe, what level are you? Are you? Uh... Oh gosh, low. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> still kind of low too. I think I'm seven or eight now. I yeah, I want to say I'm like. Uh, I could be fourteen, maybe, mm-hmm. or fifteen. Um, but I think it's because of a lot of stuff that Router says. Like I do so much side stuff Mm -hmm. that that is worth 10 yep you know what i'm saying yeah (laughs) they need to i I wish they would have a little bit more xp on that stuff Uh, yeah Mm -hmm. for for some of them the length of time that you spent on it and to get only that much it was like eh. but you know i think yeah i was like 50 yeah (laughs) i'm saying (laughs) yeah that's why i mean if you can do the witcher contracts those are the way to go first then do some side missions i I may just need to do that i would because they're some of them are tough but it helps you, it, it really helps you kind of hone in on which spells work best with what creatures. But mm-hmm. you'll definitely, A, you'll always get some good loot. Uh, it's usually at least one or two items that are, that are uh, you know, good upgrades. And then you'll also get some good coin out of it. But yeah, I would, like, because I'm the same way, Gabe. Like, I love, if I'm in, like, a main mission area and there's a ton of side missions there, I'm going to do those side missions probably first before I yeah. do the main mission. But exactly. I started doing the main mission first, then the side missions, because then you have a higher, you get a higher level XP then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to do those contracts because. Yeah, uh, definitely, like in, man. In Skyrim, I would mainly, um, like, I would get armor from doing, uh, like, side quests and stuff like that. But the merchants had better stuff, seemingly, in Skyrim. Like, every time I go to a merchant in Witcher, like, there's nothing that I'm yeah. interested in buying. There's only a few merchants that I would go back to, like some of the blacksmiths and or armors, that, mm-hmm. and, like, I would fast travel back to them because everybody else was horrible. Yeah, I don't right. understand that. And you'll, you'll figure those out as you go along. Like, it, there's, you know, as you're asking them questions and that kind of stuff, there's other options in the dialogue that kind of hint to, Hey, this is a guy that you probably need to stick around with. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. It's man. It's, Are you playing any Gwent? No. Yes. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> I did the same thing. Hall. I'm like, no time for that. Yeah. yeah. I know I'm going to lose that fight. Yeah. I'm like, eh, you know, I got Hearthstone for this. I'm good. Like, I'm just going <laughs> to keep they going. Build something like Hearthstone into it. Ugh. Oh my God. We would never. I freaking love Gwent, man. That's so awesome, man. <laughs> That's love awesome. it. I love that you love that, man. That's so great. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so it's. Are you, you going to get the limited edition uh, Gwent cards that came with the uh, collector's edition? <laughs> no, but um, I just really enjoy. I don't know why it's. It just makes you think. It's, I don't know. Yeah, I it's like good, it. man. It's sim- it's so simple, but it's like you're still you still have to be strategic about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's pretty yeah, interesting. Like <laughs> uh, Is that a rap for all of us? That was a long rap because we got on a yeah. Witcher. We got on a Witcher. <laughs> we got on a Witcher hunt. <laughs> I, 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 well, you know, I I uh, kind of like find new things about the game every week that I'm really enjoying. But yeah, man. This will probably be like the last thing I'm playing before 
uh, Fallout 4 just because it's going to take me a while. No, I know you're not playing mm, Assassin's that's okay. Creed, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well, man. You could you could ride this out until Fallout, and man, you're going to be a happy camper. And speaking of like the day Fallout comes out, are you guys getting Tomb Raider that day? Probably. I'll probably cop Tomb Raider right when it comes out. I'm gonna uh, no. I'm gonna pre order both probably when I get back, just because I want to I want to get the little rewards for it through Best Buy's um, video game service. But yeah, I mean, it, well, I'll probably pick both of them up at the same time. I've been eyeballing the Xbox One. I see it getting cheaper yeah, man, and cheaper. Come on. Oh yeah, come they're on. They're starting buddy. to throw stuff in there. There'll be oh. a there'll be a deal that irks me before then. I'm sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Exactly. You're gonna get. Uh, you're gonna get one by the holidays, brother. I know you will. We'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're definitely getting one. Yeah, you're good. Uh, we'll like I, I don't see you being able to pass it up. We'll see. The deal is gonna get too good. It, it's gonna get ridiculous. Just I'm look sure. for that Tomb Raider bundle. Like I said, it's coming. <laughs> We'll it's, see. It's coming. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, man. All right, Router, well, you got it? In the back of my car, always. I will get this. <laughs> well, let's do it. Even in the back of my car, I got this, brother. I got this. I New releases it. this week. Hey, we got Madden NFL 16. That's out. right. PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3. Uh, I haven't played a Madden in forever. I have never played a Madden. <laughs> and I'm, you know what? And I'm fine with that. Yeah. It, it's actually not a bad game. Like, I mean, I, I can't speak for 16 because I can't remember the last one I played either. Maybe... Like oh seven or oh eight or something. <laughs> it's not that far back. Uh, yeah, it's exactly. not too bad. No, the football games on the Dreamcast were really good. So I can't speak for Madden though. Mm-hmm. I've not, heard some not, good, not current Madden. <laughs> I've heard some good things about this next one. Until Dawn for the PS4. Ooh, Lord, no, thank you. That's all Gabe all the time. <laughs> it's never game it's none of never the time. game none of the time <laughs> and change your diapers um, <laughs> dude that game looks scary as crap yeah oh I my think gosh I, may, I, wanna, I might play that though you not I, go play it I've heard it's a good well. Halloween game Come yeah on. it could be oh man that would be a great Halloween game yep um, nope for the PS4 Xbox One and PC Mega Man Legacy Collection oh awesome. yeah and, and here's another one and Oh man, I may get this, but uh, Dishonored Definitive Edition is out for the PS4, Xbox oh, One. Yeah. That game, if anybody has not played that game and likes stealth, get and on it. Get on that game because it is fantastic. Yep. Um, here's another one: Gears of War Ultimate Edition for the Xbox One. Now, there's been mm. a lot of talk about, you know, does it come with the all of them or not? It comes with the first one, and right now, Microsoft and um, is doing a limited time. You purchase the Ultimate Edition, you'll get the entire Xbox 360 Gears of War collection that you can play on your Xbox One. There you so, go. So, uh, man, I think I'm going to get that because that would. So the. Oh, go ahead. No, that's go ahead. Oh, I was going to say the Ultimate Collection only comes with the first one. It comes, yeah, it comes with. Originally, the idea was it comes with the first one, and I think it has some stuff added to it. I don't know, but it. But I think a lot of people were saying, "Hey, it doesn't come with all of them," and. And I did some quick research and noticed that no, it doesn't. But for a limited wow. t- for a limited t- time, now that I, maybe they time this, you know, when Microsoft announced the backwards compatibility thing, like they were going to spit this out anyway, and then this was going to be an add-on after the announcement, because mm. that's pretty cool to be able to get the entire Xbox 360 collection and you can play it on your Xbox One. So honestly, that's I think that might be my next game. Now, I, like as I was, I was as I, I was, really liked the first Gears of War. Yeah, when the I first one it. was yeah. pretty good. As I was doing the research, I'm like, this game actually, and I've seen some gameplay on it before. I'm like, this could be, this could bring me back to the Xbox. So I, I think I may pick that game up because I don't know if I'm going to start Dragon Age. I'm just like, it's been so far buried. I may have to come back to that maybe in the holidays or something. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I don't know. All the time. If but we yes, ever get one. Some sort so that that's gonna bring back my pile of shame and it'll start with that one, which is a huge game to play too. So it's like ah, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, how much so, is that Gears of War collection at retail? I think it's normal is it pricing. Like thirty or forty dollars or I have no idea. I don't know how much it is. It yeah, should be if it's only I, the first game. 
remastered. Well, yeah, out of all that research, I, mean, you would I didn't think, but out of all you know, that research, I didn't look at crazy stuff. I didn't look yeah, at the price. Those like one, two, and three, like on the 360, can probably be had for collectively under like fifteen or twenty dollars. Oh, really? <laughs> they're pretty cheap, <laughs> right? Are they? Well, they're old. Are they short yeah. campaigns? Is it like a short game, or is it? I don't remember it being too short. Maybe it's eight, forty dollars at Best Buy. Eight to ten hours. Okay, or 40, something like forty that. bucks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I think I want to pick that one up. That looks good. Hey, uh, for Xbox One, Destiny: The Taken King Legendary Edition. That's right. That came out. Um, for the Xbox One as well, Don't Starve: The Giant Edition. Nice. And then uh, Nova One 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 released for the PC, PS4, Vita, and PS3. It's a sci-fi themed turn-based adventure game with a twist of real-time action. Dun, mm-hmm. dun, dun, dun. A I'm twist, huh? There's always a twist. There's always a twist, sir. There's always a twist. <laughs> Did you say turn-based? Turn-based. That's like mm. Paul's like, Bing, I'm in. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, finally, One Piece Pirate Warriors Three for the PS4, PS3, and Vita. Yeah. So yeah, I've seen that guy's face. I don't know anything about. We that. are, you know, we are kicking in. I can't believe in what two weeks is going to be Labor Day. So we are getting into our fall release schedule now, and it's yeah, this is nuts. Starting the to ramp feels up. like it. Yeah. It's been chilly the last few nights, and I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. Not, Me too. Not down, ba, 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 ba. Not down here. <laughs> I'm loving it. Not down here. I'm 99 uh, degrees and yeah, 100% right. humidity. But actually, <laughs> actually, right now it's fantastic. And last night was beautiful, too. It's like the first night that it was actually fairly cool. But, man, the other night we walked out of the restaurant, and your glasses instantly fog up, and you just get hit. <laughs> you get hit with this heat wave, and you just start sweating. It's fantastic. You, nice. You feel so good. I like it. I love vacation. Um, Let's do this. We had we had an <laughs> we had an MTTG oops this last week <laughs> that I thought was really funny. I think it was this last week. Hit and it. it said that uh I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was something along the lines of uh the offspring is not a terrible band. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> they're really not. Yeah. And I wasn't saying they were terrible. I was just saying that I've thought that they because of my love for them through crazy taxi i thought that they probably were terrible but um i, I they said i was wrong no i will say this i heard like a live version of them playing one time and the lead singer does have some singing issues like he was really oh, is his voice going re- no he was just really off tune and just really out of it but they still do rock i mean it's it's still pretty cool i got no yeah. i got no hate for him and uh, Arctic Warlock said, as one of your Destiny experts, Avatar is coming out with three more films. So Avatar yeah. Land will still be yeah, relevant. No, I, I knew it, it would opens. still be relevant. It's not like they're going to change it up or anything like that from what they're because, man, to do these theme parks uh, takes a long, long time to oh, develop and build. So they're not just going to be like, ah, we're going to skip this and do something else. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, no, I knew it was in the works. It's just so funny because that movie, like we haven't heard anything anything about the new movies yet right that didn't have staying power it didn't seem no right. they didn't hmm. and i th- i think they're smart to not do anything now because you've got star wars coming right up so we're gonna we're gonna hear something after star wars after the wave of excitement and after we've all seen it like eight times in the movie theaters um <laughs> amen seriously i i'm i'm not going to see it just once that's for sure <laughs> okay so uh-uh. let, let's uh, try to figure it out now how how much in the the pre-ride room or like one of the rides of that that whatever they're building there. The, the Are they going to say unobtainium? Unobtainium. Oh. oh, please no. They'll have to say it at least once, but I'm hoping it's on like the ramp up on the ride. Right, right. The pre. If they say like it in the line, I'm leaving. That's what. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be in the the room, like waiting in line, and they're going to be they're going to have an actor on loop talking uh, about unobtainium over and over and over again. Yep. Ugh. It's the stupidest name. Uh, well, I remember when they said it in the movie, I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> no, they didn't. No. Are uh-uh. they for real? <laughs> that, doesn't gracious. that make it just lose all credibil- credibility? You're like, yes. unobtainium, really? Unobtainium yes, exactly. is unobtainable right now. I'm out. Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Hall? Uh, not a whole lot, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Uh, we could piece together something. That's uh, it for YouTube us, everybody. Gaming is launching today. Yes. Really? YouTube Gaming. Yes. It's their launching competitor today. to Twitch. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, they'll do it right, I'm sure. We'll, I hope. we'll see what happens. I mean, they've got their own app for it. It looks like they're going to have their own uh, 
try to have their own console apps for it. Hmm. And they have their own website kind of pointing people that direction to. Yeah. They said it's separate from YouTube.com. Is it? Yes. Do we, is it going to be just gaming.youtube.com or is it like a totally different website? I'm not sure. Let me see. That's a good question. I mean, is they're, it, yeah. la- they're launching it today. So it could be gaming. We'll it, know tomorrow. Could be a sub direct, a uh, sub domain or something, but I would think it would be gaming.youtube.com. Yeah, yeah. I, I think YouTube is going to be somewhere in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what kind of traction this has. Uh, I mean, it seems like Twitch is just so widely used now. Like, you, I know, but YouTube is like, like what it's going to be able to reach more people only because Twitch, I don't know anybody who knows what Twitch is. That's not a gamer, but everybody knows what YouTube is. Oh, of course. Yeah. But that's what we thought about Google Hangouts. Like it didn't replace Skype, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So we'll see. That's a good point. Yeah. We'll see. Um, we got our first taste of Nolan North as the ghost. This week, uh, in the new trailer uh, for the Taken King, you hear him at the very beginning um, of the trailer, and uh, it didn't hit me as anything that different. His voice is definitely higher, way higher. Hmm. And uh, did you guys did you guys hear? No, it? I was no. going to, uh, I but now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to hear it. Does it stay, st- have that same like filter, robotic filter on yep. it? Yep, same filter on it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I mean, you know, can't hate on him too bad. Um, but so we're not going to see a hashtag gonna... bring back Dinklebot or something. Oh, like that. I think so. I mean, like the first, <laughs> you know how the internet is, man. The first comment is like, oh, he sucks. <laughs> you're like, what do you want? No, like, you, what do you want? Usually the first comment is first. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> then the second comment, it was uh, yeah, right. Nolan North sucks. As the ghost. Unbelievable. And, you know, all these people coming out the woodwork like, I don't understand what the problem was in the first place. And you're like, oh, mm-hmm. Lord, have mercy. And then the, and those are the same people that complained about it before. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's ridiculous. And so um, it's, oh, definitely, it's definitely not um, monotone. Well, OK. <laughs> you know, uh, D- Dinklage kind of had that monotone yeah, thing man, going I, on. I yeah. still think he was directed to do that. To be perfectly honest, so. because he is really good at what he does. Oh yeah, he's a he's a great actor. He's a great yeah. actor. I have always liked yeah. him anyway, and yeah, I think he was directed to be that monotone. But who knows? Drab. Yeah. So um, we'll see. I guess uh, as the Taken King comes out today, right? Yep. And so um, I don't know if with him, with the Taken King coming out, is now is it from today on? All ghost stuff is replaced. I'm or? sure there's oh, yeah, going to be an update. There'll be an update. And you know what? That's going to be a huge update. That's going to be a ginormous update. <laughs> and it's required because it plays online. So exactly. Yeah, everybody will have it. Be like a five gig Dinkle update. Bot Enjoy erased. everybody. <laughs> Poor Dinklebot. <laughs> uh, Control, no. alt, delete. Task Control, ending. alt, delete. <laughs> <laughs> delete the Dinkle. There he uh, goes. Exactly. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So um, I thought that was interesting that, you know, I the Internet's just going to hate. You know They're I mean? going to hate regardless. That's it's all they do. It's all they do is hate. They'll never help. No, nope, it's mm. ridiculous. Come on, Internet. What else you got uh, there, Hall? Uh, Nintendo patent shows that the next console may not have an optical drive. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks like it, the speculation is either that they may go to another cartridge based format, which is way, what? which is way easier than it used to be. Um, yeah, but does but, it hold as much? That's more clumsy, don't you think? No, no, it does. It does hold as much or more because oh. it's all flash memory. Oh, oh that kind of cartridge. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Huh? Okay. I, I don't I don't know if. At this time, it will be cheaper to do. It's still going to be way more expensive than optical. So maybe Either, they're maybe they're betting on just downloadable games. I was going to say that's there. That's that's a huge indication that everything's all going online. <laughs> right. I mean, it, wor- it works. And I mean, everything is going online. It works for the iPad and the iPhone, but with the internet connections we have now, that makes sense because the games are max what three gigs. Yeah. Uh so if this is like yeah. a next gen console, it may be bigger, but 
I don't That's know. Maybe really the NX will have different kinds of games. Mm, yeah. That could fit on like a DVD or something. So those are much easier to download. A cartridge. That would be so weird. Yeah, I'll leave it to Nintendo, man. They'll come up with something. <laughs> yeah. They'll make it weird somehow. Those <laughs> <laughs> make it weird and make it work. They'll make it weird and they'll make it work. And hopefully I, I it'll be fantastic. So, I am so interested to see what they're going to do with this next console. Yep, me too. How, is it okay that I'm like nervous? Oh, you could be nervous. I, I think they, I think they well, got any, it. You know, if they've they've gone through the whole Wii U experience, like we've we've all seen the downside of all this, so it can only go up from here. That's all. That's the way I see it. <laughs> they they can had only to be, go up. It, uh, it can only go up, and they've had to be like tapping like consultants on this stuff and just making oh, yeah. sure that they've got their ducks in a row. Like, man, I, you know, and speaking of cartridges and Nintendo, I watched this thing yesterday, and hopefully it's correct, but I guess. Square Enix originally, originally was going to have uh, Final Fantasy VII on the N64. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> they did uh, the Final Fantasy VI tech demo on the N64. And so what's weird is that um, it would have taken, though, 35 cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me switch because out. You got, <laughs> exactly, hang on. Let me switch you got, out. Remember, it was three discs on PS1. And so on the N64, it, it would have to have been 35 cartridges. But Nintendo didn't have a way for you to take out a cartridge and put another one in with the console remaining on. Hmm. And so it kind of wouldn't have worked because uh, <laughs> you can't take a cartridge out they, in the middle of the middle of playing. Well, I was going to say Rare eventually figured out how to save something in memory and switch cartridges because they had some kind of thing with <clears throat> Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie that did that. Oh, really? Yeah, like some data came over into the new game or the old game. I don't remember. It was something mm. like that, they, though. They just have to have good storage and good RAM memory too, to in order to hold that. Yeah, but back then it was like no, I it was think like those cartridges held like. It was some some crazy small number. Fifty six k. As much as much as people say, like consoles are behind PCs now, it was significantly worse back then. Oh sure, yeah. significantly. And, and computers weren't doing that good. Yeah, and that's when computers were bad. <laughs> what was what was the resolution like? The default resolution of the Nintendo sixty four was it? <laughs> I think it was I think twelve three twenty by two forty. Yeah. <laughs> 12. 12. <laughs> what was the resolution of that? 12. 12. <laughs> 12 resolution. 12 resolutions. That's, that's all the you way get. resolution works. 12. It is, a, it is a box. You have a little <laughs> pixel box. That's all you get. Good luck. Good luck gaming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Any, anytime they really would have a texture on the Nintendo 64, yeah, it was probably 12 by 12 stretched out. That's awesome. That's how blurry it was. Oh my no, gosh. I love, I love Nintendo. I, like, I have... I have, you know, I didn't grow up. I, I did kind of grow up with them because uh, my cousins had a an N64. But, you know, I love the fact that they're always being innovative. And yes, it flops from time to time. But I think I think they're going to a boy. <laughs> right. I think they're going to do it right this time. I well, really I do. If you, if you look at it, even the I mean, the GameCube was considered a flop, right? Really? Well, because it's on the heels of, you know, the SNES and then the, you know, N64. Yeah. N64 was considered a flop compared to the NES, the SNES too. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, just for more, for more modern, look at what, look what the Wii did and, uh, you know, oh, yeah, how, how in, yeah, how innovative that was. And then they come out with the Wii U. So it's like they go from, and, and you know, companies are going to do this. They're going to experiment. They're going to come up with new things and they're going to not, it's not going to be what they thought it was going to be. So I'm sure that they've learned from their mistakes. They're learning as they go, but they've always been so innovative. So that's why I'm, I'm excited for it. So I, I, nice. to answer your original point, I don't think you should be nervous as much as, well, I, I guess you could be, but I mean, it can't, it can't be as bad as it's been. You know what I mean? And, and if it is, then, yeah. then they they may be in trouble. But you got to remember, they're still huge. They have money out the wazoo right now. Yeah, they're you know, Nintendo. They're Nintendo for crying out loud. They're not. <laughs> they're not going to go away anytime soon. And and it, even if they had two back to back quote unquote failures, you know, they're still going to. They can weather that. They will weather that, and they will move on. Yeah. Yeah. So. So true. Yep. What else you got, Halsifer? 
uh, all the Witcher DLC is out now. Remember how they promised all that free yes. DLC at the beginning? Yes. It it is. Is. I don't need all any more DLC yes, from them. Yes, you do. You always need <laughs> yes, more DLC. <laughs> Bring it on. I do not. I could not. I can't get out of where I'm. I mean, I'm supposed to be on a boat to Skellige for the last like months. That's, that was me too. I'm like <laughs> Skellige Schmelga. I'm staying here in Novigrad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's there's so that. much to do. That, like, there is that and do, go ahead. New new like bulletin boards are posting. I'm oh, like, yeah. oh crap. Yep. I'm like, I gotta go do that. Yep. And so uh, I'm just. Yeah, you're not going to Skellige anytime soon, just like no. I wasn't. It took a month for me to get to Skellige. And then once exactly. you're in Skellige, man, get ready, because you got more and more coming. <laughs> it was Siri very gonna smart gonna of have them. to wait. <laughs> nice. It was very <laughs> smart of them to release that game in May. Uh, to give people time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they, oh, were, yeah. they were smart. I love the fact that they did this. I think this is a, a great idea that CD Project put to, CD Project Red put together. Uh, I think this is the way to definitely do it. <laughs> Skellige Schmelige. <laughs> there it is. Title title of the title episode. Of the show. Thank you, Router. You Good job. Yeah. Even on vacation, I'm coming up with some zingers. <laughs> there you go. Skellige Schmelige. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to figure out how to spell that one, but you guys yeah, feel exactly. free to take the liberty. It's not co- <laughs> it's not copyrighted or anything. Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. Oh, that's funny. Um, we got uh it feels early, but maybe it's not early. We got uh, games with gold and PS Plus games for September already announced. Sweet, bring and it. And for games with gold, free this month on Xbox One, we're getting The Deer God. Oh, dear God. I don't God. know what that is. <laughs> no, is wait, is that, is that The Deer God or Deer uh, yeah, God? I, I, yeah, I might be putting the emphasis <laughs> in the wrong place. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then from... So that's all month, September 1 through 30. And then from September 16th through October 15th, here comes the ramp. Tomb Raider, the definitive edition on Xbox oh, One. I wow. will definitely be picking that up just because. Yes. I can. Yep. Just Cause is coming out too. <laughs> <laughs> and Just Cause too. <laughs> and Just Cause. And then on Xbox, uh, Xbox 360, they're getting Battle Stations Pacific and Crisis 3. And as a reminder... Remember, they said that Xbox 360 games from here on out are going to be backwards compatible, so you might as well get them if there's some old games that you haven't played yet. Yes. I might be downloading Crisis 3 only because those games are beautiful. And they are, man. I've never played a Crisis game. Yeah, they are beautiful games, I gotta say. Oh, and then over on, and this is the first time I'm feeling like Xbox Live, Xbox uh, Games with Gold is beating out Re- PS Plus. Really? Um, this was the first month for the vote to play campaign. Oh yeah, and they landed on a game called Grow Home. Okay, Grow Home, little indie title uh, for PS4, and then for PS4 and PS Vita, Super Time Force Ultra. That looks fun. I couldn't really understand what was going on in the video. Um, it looks like. You're able to play like a bunch of different characters. Like the character from Journey was in there. Oh, sweet. Hmm. Which l- l- looked really interesting. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Uh, that's for PS4 and PS Vita. Another PS4 and PS Vita game is uh, Xeno Drifter. Uh, for PS3, we got Twisted Metal. That's fun. Uh, PS4 and PS3, uh, Tesla Grad. And I don't know how to say this last one, but this is the way I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, La Mulana X for hmm. the PS Vita. Yeah, so, I think Xbox uh, <laughs> took, took that one. I've heard of barely any of those games. I think they took that. But look, they're smart. I mean, to put the definitive edition out right before the release of Tomb, of this next Tomb Raider. That's, I mean, Heck yeah. shoot. That's, that's a no-brainer. Gear, that's a no-brainer. That's what Gearbox did with uh, Borderlands. Uh, with when Borderlands Two came out, and I I was hook line and sinker on that one, so yeah, that's a good game, man. I, Gabe, I think we're going to be firing up that Xbox One this fall. Man, I might just play a little Tomb Raider just just, just cause. cause just cause <laughs> <laughs> the just cause, just cause edition cause to play Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah, just man, cause. I love that. Good, good, good. What else you got, Hall? Uh, the did you hear about the Final Fantasy Portal app thing? Good night. No. It is an app on iOS and Android to 
get you to buy other Final Fantasy properties, like the games that are on those platforms. But it does come with a free version of that card game that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that was featured in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, oh yeah, I did hear about that. Yep. That's nice. kind of awesome that <laughs> we were just talking about that and it comes to iOS. I'm just saying we're a little ahead of the times, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got some good ideas. I think somebody was listening to the show, so Shinmu 3 is coming out, of course. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It's because I was yeah, playing Shinmu 1. Of course. <laughs> I just, I just want to make sure that I'm right on my Xbox Tomb Raider bundle. That's all I am care about this fall. <laughs> I just want to be right about that. Please, Lord, let me be right about that. <laughs> all right, let's say it now. Uh, Power Stone 3 Kickstarter. Oh, oh snap. I like it. What do you think? Not gonna happen. <laughs> we need to hey, we need to do a New Year's edition of uh Married to the Games predicts. I think that's a great oh, idea. Oh yeah. For twenty six when twenty sixteen rolls around, let's do some predictions. And we'll be that's t- fun. And we'll be totally wrong. We'll, we'll be, be MTG really MTTG oopsing it the entire rest of the year. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> then then our section's gonna be bigger than our actual podcast. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Exactly. We'll have we'll get at least one right, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe no, I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Too, I'm not too hopeful. But let's 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 do that. Oh, I was oh, saying we get man. at least one right if we made like a hundred predictions. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I think the Out odds of hundred. The get odds one of right. that happening are probably good. Yep. Yeah. We're yeah. good. Very cool. Um, and funny that we have been talking about just cause, just cause three. Uh, the developer Avalanche Studios and Square Enix have announced a contest, and the winner. Gets a real life island. What? Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> and so um, you have to come out on top of the chaos points leaderboard 90 days after the release of the game and uh, for a chance to win it. And the, the island's valued at $50,000. So I don't know how that seems like a small island. It's a landfill off the coast of New Jersey. There you go. <laughs> that's your <laughs> that's your island. Enjoy. It smells oh, a little man. funny, but at least you got an island. You got to ride the barge <laughs> to get over there. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I guess. Uh, so you get points by you get chaos points by uh, creatively destroying anything and everything in the game. Hmm. And so they haven't said where the island is, and of course they've got all the the mumbo jumbo in the contract, like uh, location of Island to be determined by sponsor, all taxes and fees associated with purchasing and obtaining the Island. Oh man. Uh, you know, go to the responsibility of the winner. Sponsor does not guarantee the Island to be inhabitable uh, <laughs> or reachable by any other means than a boat. Oh, it, now it's snake and, Island off the coast of Brazil <laughs> where all the venomous snakes are. Congratulations. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, you know, not a lot of promise going on uh, no. w- with that, but what? that's fun. I would definitely like the game comes out December 1st, by the way, but I would definitely like, I don't know. An Island is kind of dope to oh, own. Sure. But you don't know uh, which Island you're getting. Yeah. I just don't know how much $50,000. It, it can't get you that much when it comes to islands. It's it literally will be the typical abandoned stranded person with, you'll have sand and a palm tree and that's, there's your <laughs> Island. That's it. That's all it's going to be. Yeah, I know, but that might but be what, all right. What's nice is that I'll be able to live out every, if you were trapped on a desert Island question, we could actually physically do that. We yes. could test it. <laughs> we yeah. Could, we could test it all out. We could test it all out. That'd be awesome. Be like Gabe's got an Island. He's going to send you to. Yep. Ask him what question. Oh, what yeah. book would you take? Yeah. yeah. Questions what CD for, would you take? What game the would you take? Island edition. Go. The secret <laughs> right. answer is that you have all your games downloaded to your console. Yes. Because <laughs> then you don't have yeah. to take anything. Yeah, I have to take nothing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Hall, you got anything else, brother? Do you hear about that? Um, they're doing like a, a Vita settlement thing. They're sending out some stuff. Another Sony one. Is. Uh, th- Dang it! There was a a lawsuit uh, a little while back uh, because we Sony mentioned- got we in talked trouble about for it, false didn't we? advertising. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know if we talked. We may have talked about this. It was a long time ago. But anyway, they're giving away either you get a twenty five dollar check or you get twenty five dollar PSN credit if you bought a Vita. I think it was. If you bought it in 2012, yeah, wasn't that first generation Vita anyway? Yes, yeah. And mm. at, at it first, for, it made me think of Gabe, but then I was like, "No, Gabe bought his used." I forgot about that. Was it for the remote play? 
It, it, I forget what the 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 um. I can't yeah, remember what, what the false advertising was about. I just saw like a bunch of people saying like, "Oh, check your email." Interesting. Mm. That's crazy. I don't know if that's really news, but I mean, it's Poor not six thirty yet. <laughs> I am out. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Um, did you get it? You never had a Vita, right? Uh, I have a Vita TV that I bought a couple months ago, and I've played my PlayStation One games on it. Oh, nice! Oh, that's right. D- do you still use that at all? Yeah, I'm, I may get some games for it, but not all of them are compatible. That thing is right, not great. Right, because of the touchpad. It's not great. No, it's not great at all. If it had mm. a Netflix app on it, like I would dismiss everything. But it's just not that great. At least you only spent what thirty bucks on it. Yeah, it was like thirty or thirty-five. There you I go. don't remember. <clears throat> don't feel so bad. No, I didn't know that it wasn't good. It's it's not too great. Oh, dang it! it well, it, I guess that's why the I don't want to say it fell off the cliff. Well, I don't <laughs> want to say it's not great. It's just hard to find a use for it because all the games aren't compatible. And then the remote play to your PS4 is it, shaky. It's, it, th- and that's the reason I bought it, and it's not great like if if xcom 2 comes to the ps4 then it'll be great but oh yeah know, it doesn't play <laughs> just because you want to play it <laughs> oh yes but are oh, you saying because it's turn-based because and you it, yeah it's turn-based have have and you, twitch can, response. you can forgive the lag like sir many of the games i've been playing lately you can't forgive any lag mm. so i got you nice 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 all right. Well, each week we ask you guys a question. Last week wasn't any different. We ask you guys, are handhelds dead? Ed Placencia on the forum. Unfortunately to me, they were never alive. Oh, wow. There you go. There you have it. Um, Spider Jedi, they'll never be dead because there will always be people that buy them just because of their portability. Personally, I can't see myself ever buying a handheld gaming system again. I just use my iPhone for entertainment. I agree. Yeah. Uh, the married guy over on the forum uh, said, I'm not sure I would call them dead, but they are not as popular as they once were and maybe gone or nearly gone in 10 years time. Personally, I love dedicated game handhelds like 3DS and Vita and would never trade one of them for a smartphone. Some games are really intuitive on a phone, like World of Goo, Angry Birds, etc. But even ports of great RPGs like Knights of the Old Republic just don't play as well on a phone. I always have my 3DS or Vita with me when I travel and for longer trips, both because the games are often deeper and have actual buttons for games is just better in most cases. I can't imagine ever playing Smash Brothers or Monster Hunter on a phone. Mm. But you yeah. could, but you could on an iPad or a tablet. That's for sure. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, yeah. I, it's weird. I think w- with a phone, there you may, you may want to play specific games. Like, I think the turn-based games are great on phones and that kind of stuff. For some of these other ones, like you said, Knights of the Republic, Monster Hunter, all that stuff, the iPad is probably or the any tablet is just as good. But I still, well, you know, the on-screen controls though can be awful yeah no that's very true and that's i think that's still going to evolve there's yeah pro- there's probably going to be there could be little accessories for it which i'm sure there already are but yeah yeah but yeah i think like just the the idea of a handheld i think a lot of people would look at you like why are you using that when you can use your phone but it's mm-hmm. different like and and i don't think a lot of people get it that some games just work better without any type of touch touch um compatibility or functionality with it so yeah, yeah. Um, over on Twitter, VG Junkie at the VG Junkie says, no, they're not dead. Vita is currently the perfect handheld for anybody looking for ports slash JRPGs on the go. It fills a perfect niche. Hmm. Yeah, it's not uh, the perfect handheld for companies trying to make money, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's that's the sad part. That's the problem. I, I mean, uh, I guess we didn't we say last week the model for handhelds is still the 3DS because it crushes yeah. every time and the games that they put out for it crushes every time. Mm-hmm. It's I think it's because they they Built set the budgets base. correctly. Like yeah. you can't put out AAA games on a handheld anymore. Mm-hmm. Arctic I, Warlocks. Oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt Arctic Warlocks. They'll they'll come <laughs> in, they'll, they'll come after me. I, exactly. At Arctic's underscore warlocks it all depends on your way of life and what you have time for 
if you commute bus, train, subway, it may be thriving. Uh, Russell Biggerstaff at Rusky Big <laughs> Rusky Rusky Big Musky. Nice. <laughs> I like that. I do uh, too. Seems to, seems to me that historically all handhelds have struggled besides Nintendo models. Really? Yeah. Think about it. Mm. Which is exactly That's what you're truth. saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Neo Geo Pocket was awesome, but it did nothing at retail. Was it terrible? No, it was a great little console. It just didn't do well. Mm. And then I got to give a shout out to Mike Lopez from the Super Best Friends video game podcast. He said, um, I think you're forgetting because what I put on Twitter was our video game he- handhelds besides the 3DS dead. And he said, uh, I think you're forgetting the Vita, the greatest handheld, if not gaming platform of all time, past, present and future. I think he's overselling it a bit. <laughs> no, no. Even though I, I think the Vita is great and all. But they're not manufacturing uh, it anymore, aren't they? Didn't they cut it off? That's what I thought. Yeah, I think I, it I has it too. officially reached end of life, like hardware. I'm not. I'm not I mean, sure. I, like, I, I'm sure they're still making it to some degree, but especially after they dumped all that money into the Go. I don't know. Yeah, right. I never knew not one person with a Go. I had one. You did? I bought it for a hundred dollars, but I had one. Did you play it? Yes, it was great. It was. was? Yes. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I I didn't want to play PSP slash PS1 games anymore. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's I don't your know. <laughs> I don't know I, why. I I there was too. There was so much to play on consoles. I guess. Uh, that's funny. I don't know. Well, you guys know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Come check us out on YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. Like I said, it's bubbling. It's about to explode over there. It's going to be a good, good time. Um, where else? Married to the Games.com. Come check out the forum. We talking and killing spammers. Yes. It's what we, <laughs> <laughs> it's we, what we don't do have best. that many compared to some other uh, forums. But, you know, we have the occasional knucklehead that gets in there sweet and uh hall uh rate us on itunes so we can continue to squash spammers yeah and also rate us on itunes so we can finally get on that boat to skellige <laughs> <laughs> nice we got a back-to-back rating i like that we got a, a two for today thank you Hall. yeah we did good job hall uh <laughs> it, was, it was fresh yeah. in my mind. Followed he's not even an, impressed. Uh, he's not no, even impressed not. with himself. Yeah. He's not impressed with it at all. He's like, uh, that's right a goal. It's like so a... we can keep handhelds alive. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's get into some questions. start off with some email uh and before we start i have to give a huge shout out to our boy nick cooper uh he is el scorcho on uh battle.net um he sent us a really great email very in-depth email about some hearthstone strategies and sent us some links and i think i, I forwarded those on, on to you boys yeah. i don't know if you read them or not but uh, i did he, uh, he also posted on the forum yeah he's awesome and he is crushing it at hearthstone he's been he's been at this game since day one so he loves the fact that we're talking about it and he probably loves the fact that we're all like not saying the right things or, or especially me. Like he's probably like hey, face palming himself when every time I talk about it. But but he was like he's been really great. And he gave us a, some great resources on some Hearthstone stuff. So uh, shout out to you, Nick. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, thanks, brother. Uh, let's start with uh, Fraser Morgan. Hi, guys. I need some advice. If possible, please. This Saturday, the 29th is my wedding day. Hey, congratulations, oh, man. Snap. It's awesome. I have booked the following week off to spend time with my better half and enjoy the quiet after months of wedding planning. Yes, good on you for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, a little game called Metal Gear Solid 5 comes out on September yeah. 1st. So any advice on the divorce process? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I this is going to be a lesson for you this, in, oh, uh, yeah. in patience. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't see newlywed bliss lasting long. I jokingly slash half seriously said I would like a couple hours at some point in the week to play it. That notion went down like a lead balloon. Did it? Yeah, I'm sure oh, it did. Any, geez, I, any ideas on how to get game time without severely pissing off my future wife? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, dude. That is R- awesome, Router has been like 
he's been blowing the horn from the beginning, like telling us how to get some game time and go for it, Router. It started in mo- early morning. That's right. Early in the morning. Baby. Early in the, the morning. Same, that's the whole reason we do this podcast so early is because we wanted it to not interfere with our just family time. Exactly. And, and, and that was one of the greatest compliments that my wife ever, she, we were talking to some friends and my wife said, like we were talking that I was a 40 year old man child and what have you. And I love mi- video games <laughs> and that kind of stuff. And she said, I actually, he's really good with his video games because he doesn't do it during family time. He gets up early to play. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Hey, see, see, so, <laughs> so th- did you I, get her on tape? <laughs> I really should have. That would have been awesome. That would have been great. But, uh, a, you need to have a sit down with the, the missus and just be, does she like games? You know, maybe get her involved in, in some games, probably not metal gear solid five, <laughs> yeah. but, um, you know, I'm sure she already knows that you're a gamer and maybe she is too, which is great. Just kind of lay out the groundwork for that. And yeah, man, I mean, you're newlyweds now, so you, you will definitely start to figure out what should, what should happen, what shouldn't. But I mean, there's always five o'clock in the morning, brother. That's all yeah, I can sure say. Is. Sure is. And, uh, and maybe you can get some time in then and, and go from there, but it, man, enjoy your wedding. Enjoy your honeymoon. Have a great time. Congratulations. Married, That's married awesome. life is awesome and you'll love it. And now, now you're in the game of just trying to figure each other out. <laughs> so <laughs> exactly. good luck with it. I've been married almost 17 years and I still don't have it right. Right. So, you, you, you love each other. You're yep. in love. Yep. Now you just got to learn to like each other. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and live with each other. So yeah, <laughs> right. no, it's, it's good stuff. So yeah, I would just say, take it, take it nice and easy and just ask her about it and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? No, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. good. We can, we can too. Well. You can, you can find some time in the weekends. Yeah. Sure. There's always time in the weekends. Nope. Oh, and girls nights. Yes. Oh, yep. so, Those two. There you go. That's when I'm I, like, you haven't <laughs> hung out with your girls for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I played the, Witcher you deserve a girls night. Yep. <laughs> Here's a hotel room too. Go and spend the night. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. All right, moving on. Eric Green. Say Nintendo and Sony make up for mistakes in the past, and Nintendo foregoes any more home consoles and makes games exclusively for Sony's platform. And Sony drops wow. Yeah, this is huge. And Sony drops handhelds and makes games exclusively for Nintendo's handheld. What happens to Microsoft in this future and what are your thoughts? <laughs> What I mean, that kind of future is that? That's a Titan. That's like Clash of the Titans right there. <laughs> Can you so imagine? So Nintendo's making games for Sony, for Sony and Sony's making games for Nintendo? For Nintendo's handheld. I mean, that's it. That's gaming's done. Like everybody else can sit down, right? I mean. Well, that means Sony's handheld does good and Nintendo's handheld does okay. Yeah, basically. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, it, 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 well, gosh. So is Nintendo making Nintendo games for Sony? Sony That's the question. He says, yeah, he says, uh, Nintendo forgoes any more home consoles and makes games, just games exclusively for Sony's platform. And then Sony gets rid of all their handhelds and then they make games for Nintendo's handheld. Oh, so, so Sony makes games for Nintendo's handheld. Nintendo just makes games for Sony. I like the Nintendo just makes games for Sony idea a lot better than the handheld. <laughs> yeah. Um, either either way, Microsoft is in the back going, huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, think, Sony did used to make games for the Super Nintendo. So well, yeah, that's true. They could pick it there up again. They were supposed to be the same people. Yeah. Do Sony you th- and Nintendo. Well, I'll take this a step uh, further. It's supposed to be th- the Nintendo PlayStation. <laughs> Do you play think, space station? <laughs> that, that's what do you the handheld becomes. Play space station. Mm. Let me ask. Let me ask this. Do you think that Microsoft is where they are be, just because they're Microsoft and they have a lot of money to back it up? They or took a huge think, risk in, on releasing the original Xbox. Like yeah, they, they took a ginormous. Basically, risk. somebody convinced Bill Gates that they should hop into that market, and yeah. they did crazy because i don't if it wasn't microsoft i don't think anybody else could have done it and could have had the financial backing to do so and we still just be talking about sony and nintendo games probably yeah apple tried it and failed <clears throat> yeah well yeah that's not gonna happen what did I, they have uh the pippin i don't even remember that I, I always get that confused with the sega pico or whatever it was do you remember oh. what that was uh-uh it did I, I don't remember i never it's heard of been, the pippin it's been a while it was the micro the the Macintosh it was Apple's Pippin? console. Yeah, I don't remember that. Wow. 
It was in the 90s. I just don't remember that much about it. Well, there you go. Great marketing, Apple. Way to go. <laughs> exactly. it, didn't, it did not. It didn't set the world on fire. No, clearly that. not. But I, I mean, well, that thing is see... ugly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. Oh, they partnered up with Bandai. Oh. That's what it was. The Apple Bandai Pippin. That's what it was. You can get one for $280 on eBay if you want an ugly console sitting at your house. <laughs> that, that doesn't play a whole lot of games. Right. Uh, yeah, I was the at say. Mark. Pippin at Mark. Hmm. Hmm. I think Dude. Microsoft has always played well by itself. And so even in this weird future, I think they would do fine. Still yeah, well, you, can, you can see them setting up for it by getting close to the PC again. Yeah, there you go. Like yeah, they're, they're kind right. of looking at Xbox One merging with the PC a little. Yeah, so it makes yep. sense to me. They're a step closer. They don't need sure. anybody else. I mean, that's why they were a doggone a uh, monopoly not too long ago. <laughs> like, yeah, that's very true. You know what I'm saying? Like they've, you know, they've always done things their way and don't really need anybody else to to do it. Yeah, great question. Thanks for that, Eric. Appreciate it. Moving on to Facebook, Sean Capri. Hey, guys, just a quick note before my question. You guys have been absolutely hysterical lately. The show has been a real treat to listen to. Now that the flattery is over, would you... I'm sorry about that. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Thank you. Now that the flattery is over, would you consider recording a podcast while hosting a Mario Kart tournament or something like that? I'm sure I speak for most of the group when I say we'd wake up early. (laughs) That would be cool. That would be fun. My wife couldn't be there because I don't know if we have a sensor. No, yeah. Fast that's, enough. That's very true. There'll be a lot <laughs> of That's beeps. the only time my wife ever, like my wife is, she does not cuss. She is not that kind of girl. She doesn't cuss at regular talking. Boy, you put her on some Mario Kart or something like that. And I'm She's like, up. who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Oh, yeah. Mario Kart brings out the the dirty and everybody i love it it's great go come on are you kidding me i love that stupid rubber band ai yeah right (laughs) exactly that um yeah man that would be awesome we've got to do something like that i mean i think what we should do the next time the 24-hour gaming charity comes on we need to podcast during that because that will be hilarious because we will all be exhausted and tired and we'll exactly. be probably speaking in tongues at that point. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's All right, funny. Moving on. Joseph Grimm. Hey, guys. Friday, I turned the big 4-0. Woohoo! Yay! Ooh, He's in my league. He's in nice. my Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. No, I'm just saying that's no, just know, what they call it. You know, <laughs> know. Uh, can I please get a birthday shout out? Done. Joseph Grimm. Happy 40th birthday, brother. That's awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough for being there for the community. Oh, man, that's it. That's all, that's that's all I awesome. wanted to say. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks, man. Shoot. Happy, happy birthday, Dang. man. That's awesome. 40's awesome. You'll They're love giving it. us our roses while we're alive. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and now he no longer listens. Uh, moving on, Josh Stapleton. Uh, sometimes when I ask a question, it leaves my boy Router out because it will be uh, about retro gaming. Gaming. So this week, or gaming, or gaming, yeah, either one. Gaming. So this week, I've been on vacation, and I was thinking how to ask router a router centered question when it hit me. Of course, he would think about a router question on vacation. Exactly. Exactly. He said, router is always on <laughs> he vacation. He said, "Hey, I'm taking my vacations." <laughs> Uh, and I was thinking how to ask router a center question, uh, when it hit me vacation. So my question is, do you game on vacation? And if so, in what manner mobile PC handheld console, I brought my Vita and it's been scratching my gaming itch. Awesome. Nice. Uh, no, I I can't bring a console with me. So I'm usually on just uh, my iPhone and, uh, you know, thankfully there's hearthstone for me. That's all I need. That's right. Yeah. Hearthstone in the toilet. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got to go to the bathroom again. Yeah, and again, you just went a minute ago. Yep. <laughs> got to go. Don't worry about your business. Some I ate. <laughs> some I ate. Got to go. Um, yeah. I, like, I think the only time I brought a console was when my in-laws were still living in New Jersey and it was Christmas time. And so I brought my PS. I remember that. Yeah. I brought my PS3 up and that's when I played all night uh, playing Borderlands and got in trouble the next day for it. But it was awesome. Did you really? Nice. No, I, was, I mean, I just I just because you were tired. Yeah, I stayed up till four. But I, I'm a I can do that, man. I'm a I'm pretty good when it comes to that stuff. Like if I've got to get up, I'll just get up and I'll I'll grin and bear it. But that was uh, before you were forty, though, right? That was way before I was forty. <laughs> okay, so you're good now. I'm straight now, so it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's nice. That's, that's that one. Uh, and then here we go, Stephanie Stapleton. Uh, we've got another Stapleton. My question is this, are all the wives out there also amazed at how dedicated to listening their husbands are? 
But, <laughs> but kidding aside, I will say I've been <laughs> amused by how many random people have stopped us on our vacation asking about the Married to the Game shirt my husband Josh Stapleton wears. Uh, oh, you, wow. You have a great following, and I'll admit, listening in on occasion, it's an entertaining podcast. Yeah! Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie thank we you. Did it. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I would totally give you a hug right now if that, I could. Me too. That totally just made my morning, and that's awesome. And Josh is a great guy, and um, you guys are awesome for listening. So that's yeah. Super thanks for cool. the support, man. Oh and I'm gosh. sure I'm sure all the wives out there are scratching their heads, like, why are these guys? Why are our husbands <laughs> listening to these guys? Because <laughs> exactly. exactly. they're a bunch of fools. <laughs> Uh, that's so great. Uh, Brett T. Bowden. Stephanie Stapleton. Yes. Oh, man, that's awesome. We've got the missus on, on well, record now. SS. She, yeah, she is on record. She's in I the books. It. She's in the MTTG books. Yeah, man. Uh, Brett T. Bowden. Hey, guys, first of all, I love your show and have been catching up on past episodes from the beginning. And what is it, February or something? I know, right? right? What's is it going Valentine's on? Day? <laughs> <laughs> is it I my know, birthday? Man. Yeah, we're going to get taken out back, I'm sure. They're just buttering us up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now on to my question. You guys actually suck. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and I forgot some of these MTTG oops. Here they go. There we go. <laughs> Quick fire. <laughs> exactly. So he's been kept catching up on past ep episodes uh, from the beginning and currently on episode 78. I can't wait for episode 100. Laugh out loud. To preface my question, it pains me to admit that as an avid Le Legend of Zelda fan, I have never finished Ocarina of Time. Some, mm. some would say that disqualifies me from being an, an avid Zelda fan, but it's, <laughs> exactly. but it's not for lack of, of trying. I have now started the game on five different consoles, the original N64, GameCube Zelda Collector's Disc, the Wii Virtual Console, the 3DS, and now last week I started it again on the Wii U Virtual Console. My I am, gosh, I am that's nuts. I am determined to finish it this time. So my question is, have you ever restarted a game before finishing it? And why? Also, how many restarts did you do? I'm hoping someone has beaten my record of five so I can feel better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, listen, you're a Zelda fan because you have played this on five different cults, uh, exactly. five different consoles. You've purchased it on five consoles. And so there, nobody should judge you for, for not being an avid <laughs> Zelda fan because of that. I think that's amazing. Exactly. That's, that's dedication. Just now it's time for you to just finish it off. Yeah, you know, man. just do it. Oh so, man, what if I started a bunch? I restarted. Um, the only thing I really restarted, and it was really, really early on, was Mass Effect because my character I couldn't stand looking at my character because I made him that <laughs> bleach blonde Puerto Rican Polynesian oh. dude. He <laughs> was like this Polynesian Puerto Rican Asian looking dude. I'm like, dude, I, I can't remember that with like bleach blonde hair and blue eyes and just a wide face. He just looked. I'm like, I gotta start over, and I just went with the default. I just went with the <laughs> default. Start over. I couldn't. I could not look at my character, so I just had to restart it. I mean, the default character is hard enough to look at. Yeah, his but eyes I went with it. Kind of weird. Yeah, I went with it. So yeah, that's the only time I've really had to restart a game. Uh, what about you, Hall? Uh, it's definitely Diablo three. I think I've restarted that like three times. Really? Wow. Yeah, because I, I get to a point where I'm like, man, I don't remember what I was doing with the spells and all that stuff. So, so you just, I just start restart. over. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, the first Bioshock I started over a bunch of times because I was like okay I have I, uh, you know at first it was like oh my gosh this is an amazing game I gotta go try it oh I don't like this and then be like um, <laughs> the ah, controls okay. don't hold up that great now <laughs> right and then so I just kept going back and kept going back and kept going back and trying it and trying it and trying it and just could not get into it ever and every time I started it over and over and I was like I just don't like this game <laughs> very much. Yeah. And so yeah, uh, that I love that game. I know yeah. at that point, there's no reason, like if you're not enjoying yourself, then just, yeah, let it go. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And then of course, like, even though I beat it, uh, I've, I've probably started up final fantasy seven. Like, I mean, eight well, times in well, my life course, for sure. Of course you have. Yeah. That's awesome. Great question. Let's move on to Twitter. Keep this train, this love train a rolling. Um, <laughs> at uh, Jeremy at Jerry four five. Show of hands. Who uses their wife's shampoo? Also, Hall Diablo two point three <laughs> patch. Let's play. <laughs> One of these things is not like yeah, the exactly. Other. I don't have any hair. <laughs> uh, I just used my wife's shampoo uh, last night on vacation because I didn't bring any. So yes, I use it. Look at nice. that. That's good um, stuff. Hall, do you use your wife's shampoo because it smells good? Yeah. yeah. There you I'll, go. I'll use when anything. Missing her. What's that? I said, when you're missing her, he's in the just, shower yeah, crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before it drips into your eyes, you're That's like, right. 
<laughs> so yeah, uh, so he said, "Hall Diablo 2.3 p- patch, let's play." So I think uh, I think you, you might start lose Diablo again. Yeah, they, add, they add new stuff to that game all the time. Yeah. Like if you stop playing it for like a you're month, behind, huh? you're yeah. you're in trouble. You're behind. Mm. And Jeremy, but I it doesn't really matter because the game is so good that it doesn't like it makes starting over easy. Nice. Wow. Hey, I hate to break it to him that you're going to be on Witcher for a while. So I think your Diablo days are yeah, are done for a little numbered. while. Yeah, I'm not exactly. going to be starting over Diablo anytime soon. Next time I play it, I will just like I will did, get through it. I will. Did you spend ever beat an it? Hour trying to remember stuff. I haven't. I haven't beaten it yet. <laughs> it's a That's big awesome. game. So uh, Kyle, it's a uh, great game though. Kyle Hy- Hyman at Psycho Cross. Uh, what would the community have to do for Gabe to do a Let's Play of Until Dawn? Oh my gosh! What hall? What are we doing? What do we got to do? Uh, probably just rate us on iTunes. Rate us on no, iTunes. No, Keep no, no. Do it. <laughs> that can't be that easy. If we get back on on the featured podcast for iTunes because everyone's rating us so well, then Gabe, you have to play it. There oh go. gosh, yeah, that's true. If so. you guys get us to the front page of podcasting again. Yeah. I don't even want to say I'll play it. Like I can't even get it out. It gets stuck <laughs> got, in my throat. I, would it help if uh, I'll come over and we'll, we can do it together? Like I'll play it with someone. Okay. No, he has to do it alone in no. the dark. Oh gosh, Hall, what are you trying to do to me? Alone in no. the dark. I love That's it. Okay, so much better. Done, done and done. Oh my I God. won't be able to do it. Like even playing. <laughs> <laughs> this is how sad. This is how Dude, sad. You're freaking out right now. I love yeah, this. <laughs> just like the thought of doing it makes me shaky. Like. If you guys if you guys watch like my everyone's gone everybody's gone to the rapture, that game is not scary, not scary at all. But it's and the I was tone scared the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> are you, what are you waiting for? Like a jump out that scene or something? Yeah, I was just waiting for a jump scare. Like I was like, okay, any moment now, there's gonna be a jump scare. There's gonna oh. be a jump scare any moment. And so I was so scared, like the, because it's just quiet and you're by yourself and like um for those that have seen a little bit of the game, what happens is you're kind of walking around this town and um, these scenes will start. And those would scare me because it'd be somebody like, doctor, we need help. Like out of no place. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so Hall, is it, is it, he has to do it in the dark by himself? Why? Yes, why? This is a bad, be. what are you talking it's about? Gonna, it's, it, it would be way more entertaining. <laughs> Uh, well, remember when we did snuck. we did the hundredth show and and you know it wasn't scary because there was a ton of people there. Uh, PT, so, no, yeah. it was still I, scary. Yeah, he was no, still I scared. I think even just one person would make it less scary. Like yeah. I, I want to see Gabe playing it alone. I think if, everybody does. If, and if I uh, oh, if I was gosh. with him, my arm would probably be bruised because he'll be punching me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're going to say your arm would be around him. You'd be like, it's okay, man. It's okay, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Well, I don't know. We gotta we gotta figure this one out. But if shoot, if we get on that front page, buddy, I'm I will go buy you until dawn with all my gift cards because oh, I have a ton of Lord. them. Oh Lord! And we are playing that game. Whew. That's gonna my heart, is, my heart he, is beating so hard right he's now. He's gonna be stressing about this the whole yeah, week now. <laughs> seriously, I might take up cigarettes. <laughs> That'll be the the best live stream ever. Yes, it would be. All right, moving on. At Arctic Warlocks, school's back in session. My kids started today. Which sub- subject did you excel at and dreaded during your K through 12 years? Ooh. Hated algebra. I was just never a math head. Loved biology. Oh, interesting. Uh, I was the opposite. I did really good in middle school, especially at math. And then um, for some reason, I got put in uh, biology honors. Oh, nice. And failed that jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, I failed that joker. That's awesome. I, did. I failed that thing hard. I was like, what the heck? How did I get put in this class? Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Paul, how about you? You were good uh, at math, I'm sure. Yeah, I excelled in math, but I'm trying to think of anything like that I didn't like. I, took I, was, I was one of those people that like kids would probably love to hate on because they'd be like, he likes school. Right. Uh, and you probably screwed up the curve too. Yeah, uh, you did. <laughs> the grading curve. We didn't have curves until um shoot, maybe junior year. I don't remember. Yeah. Like nice. our our schools just didn't have that for some yeah, reason. Yeah, and that was all subject to the schools. Like you could have a curve or you couldn't. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It I don't was think weird. mine did either. Ohio was was different, I guess. Ohio's um, always different, brother. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> A subject I didn't like, though, I, I think there's got to be something in there. Like, maybe just uh, 
He didn't English like recess. Or something. He didn't like recess or any <laughs> study or any. Like, study. Can we get, get back, back to work? work. Come get, on. Like, what is all this I'm here ball? to learn, people. Let's go. And everybody's <laughs> yeah. throwing spitballs at you. It's great. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, the best the best subject of all was lunch. Yo, lunch hey, is always oh, awesome. Amen. That's still the best subject, Bishop. <laughs> That's what yes. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, what are you kidding? Still is to this That's day. That'll be the best uh, subject today. Oh, good question. <laughs> Even better subject is when you're having lunch and you're eating breakfast food. <laughs> Uh, speaking, That's like extra of, credit. speaking of breakfast food, Felipe writes uh, at I like some games. What's your favorite breakfast food? Big fan of eggs and bacon here. Uh, right, right there with you, brother. Love me. Uh, yeah, I can eat breakfast all day, every day for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And like, it, it's yes. just the, I just love eggs, scrambled eggs. I'll take any kind of egg, eggs, Benedict, all that stuff. Oh, love it. Yeah. I'm good, an omelet man myself. Oh, really? Are you a Western omelet man? Or are you like a ham and cheese omelet man? What what kind of omelet? What's a Western omelet? Uh, peppers. It's like got no. pe- peppers and <laughs> mushrooms. Like peppers. And, and I think it's like Monterey Jack cheese. It's got a little more kick to it. Um, no, I'm a big fan of IHOP oh, omelets. Talk to me. And um, I love all of them. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are fantastic. Oh, my gosh. They're so good. And they yeah. put that uh, they put some of their, you know, how they make them so fluffy. Mm-hmm. They put some of their um, pancake batter in the eggs somehow. Oh, wow. Oh, is that what they do? Is that how they that's get what so they fl- do to make them fluffy? Yeah. That's wow. a good idea. And they make like a fiesta one that's got it does have peppers and onions and chicken and oh, you know, sour God. cream. Yes. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yes. We might need to go there today. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> I'll drive up and go with you. Yeah, please, yeah, <laughs> come back from Florida. That sounds amazing. Let's do this thing, yeah. I think mine is bis- biscuits and gravy because then you can have eggs on the side and you eat some of the eggs with the gravy. Oh, and yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. But, that sounds uh, excellent. Let me tell you about a place called Bojangles. Ooh. Oh, nice. We have one kind of close to us and we got... Uh, biscuits and gravy there one time because their their biscuits are already like they should be illegal. They're mm. so good, <laughs> nice. But uh, biscuits and gravy there, like you have gotta Something be kidding else. me. That's that's <laughs> amazing. You gotta be kidding me. It has dethroned the McGriddle, really, like the premium breakfast product. Oh my gosh! Even the though McGriddle the McGriddle is, is your number one. <laughs> No, well, the McGriddle is my number one when I like have to get something on the go, like I'm in a hurry. But oh, that's I, so funny! I, it's one of those things where you know it's really bad for you, but you're like, but it's so good, and I'm in a hurry, and I need something now. <laughs> Did I already tell you guys about? And maybe I already said this on the podcast about Jenny seeing the breakfast all day at McDonald's thing. No, uh, I think you said it on Twitter, maybe. Oh, just for those that missed it on Twitter. My wife finally got to experience what I experienced when they announced Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> and that's when they announced breakfast all day at McDonald's. I literally turned around and her mouth was open and her hands were up. Like, huh? Huh? <laughs> I was like, exactly. Bingo. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. Oh, that's amazing. So you're saying that she can get all day breakfast on the day of release and you can get Final Fantasy VII on the day of release? <laughs> yep. Exactly. It's a win-win. Yep. Total win-win. You can go camp out for uh, all day breakfast. But then, then again, it'll just be breakfast anyway. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, what What is her go-to McDonald's breakfast? Uh, the sausage um, McMuffin? biscuit. Oh, yeah, sausage, sausage biscuit. biscuit. Yeah, yep. that's not bad. Oh, uh, sausage McGuffin. Uh, let me McMuffin tell you about is, Bojangles. Let me tell you about Bojangles. <laughs> if you like a biscuit. <laughs> let me tell you about this place called Bojangles. <laughs> if you uh, like a biscuit, that is the place to go. Great. So, Hall, you're saying that you like biscuits. That's what I'm getting from you. <laughs> you I wonder you don't if the understand. biscuits at Bojangles are any good. Dude, I can't imagine. No, they're so good. <laughs> I can't imagine. Uh, <laughs> Robert, uh, you, you have to do it next I'm, time dude, you see Bojangles. I am with you. I'm, I love me some biscuits. Now, wait. So is that they, just during breakfast time? Uh, no, it's all day. Are the best, it's always are, been all day. Are the biscuits like really, are they light and flaky or are they kind of dense? Uh, 
they're kind of somewhere in between, but they're buttermilk biscuits. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Lord okay. have mercy. We're there. They are ridiculous. We're good. there. They have to have a thousand calories per biscuit. Sweet. No they, don't. <laughs> they have to. Sweet. I think it's by law. Oh, my oh, gosh. That's like, good. I think after you've, yeah, it, once you get up to your like hundredth biscuit, you're like, <laughs> I made a mistake. Like having a heart attack. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like uh, the ridiculous. same biscuit that's on the the breakfast? Have you ever had the the breakfast chicken at um at Chick Fil A? It that, it oh, is the chicken, chicken biscuit. The chicken biscuit? so far like ahead of that. I I don't even. What? I can't put them in the same sentence. The chicken biscuit. The yes, breakfast that chicken thing is yeah. freaking delicious. Yeah, that is delicious. Gabe, you and I are going to Bojangles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to drive down and get you and go to Bojangles. I am serious. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, whatever you want to do it, Bishop, I'm there. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, that should be our next uh, lunch. That should be our next lunch. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. I'm dead serious. That's our next. <laughs> Married and their to the Honey lunch. Too is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where's our Bojangles? Oh, Hickory? Okay, let's not talk about it. No, no, no we're going. Right. Nobody freaking cares. No, we're going. Oh, uh, I gotta gosh. be one closer to you guys too, right? I don't know. I don't know. I never hated so a Bojangles good. before. I haven't either. <clears throat> it always sounds like a scary circus clown. Uh, no. <laughs> it sounds it, like it, a black place to eat. I've just never been there. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's <laughs> so great. Oh All right, my gosh. Final final question around this whole puppy out. <laughs> oh gosh, we still got questions. <laughs> we got one more. Michael Gun- Darn it. <laughs> Wish I could have had my uh Raiders on iTunes so that we could go, go <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Oh. Michael Guthrie at Calm Fury. Oh gosh. Are the biscuits at Bojangles good? <laughs> 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 Uh, you already know the answer. I, I think. Oh, I think we, <laughs> if you've eaten there, you you know the answer. <laughs> oh, it's so great! Oh, you should be a spokesperson for Bojangles. Oh, shoot. Uh, sorry, brother. I had to. I had to do that one. There's no uh, way I could real not question? do that. I'm sweating in my car right now. Oh, no. It's getting so hot. <laughs> <laughs> with it all fogged up. Seriously, I'm really surprised security hasn't come by yet. I'm sitting here gosh, laughing. We don't, we don't even have to have Gabe play a horror game. He's already crapped his pants. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, oh. That's good. That's good. All right. Really, Michael's question is, uh, who else bought the hashtag TGT pre-order pack? I ended up with two. What? Go- wait, wait, wait. I don't wait, even know wait. what that is. <laughs> I'm just reading it. Rewind. <laughs> I'm just I'm reading it. I don't even know. I can't know. even listen yet. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Oh, so who else bought gosh. the hashtag Bojangles pre-order pack? <laughs> pre-order biscuit pack? Just me? Okay. It's the pre-order biscuit pack. <laughs> Can that be the name of the show? Can we change it? Can we hashtag Bojangles, please? Yes, of course. <laughs> can it please be We can do anything Bojangles. you want, man. Uh. I think I think it can. I, I don't know how iTunes would like that. Oh, I don't like it. Gosh, <laughs> so good. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I can't right now. So good, so good. <laughs> okay, oh, you gosh. know what? We're gonna get an email the day after this episode comes out from Bojangles. I, I and hope like, to All right, God let's we talk do. Ads. <laughs> I hope we do. That would be your greatest dream right there. <laughs> That would oh, be the gosh. ultimate. This morning's podcast is brought to you Dude, by these bu- buttery, flaky, <laughs> milky biscuits. Delicious Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be in that voice, in that tone. Uh, this episode is brought to you by the beautiful, <laughs> buttery Bojangles biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one's so oh, funny gosh. about this. It's because you can you can really hear the love in his voice. I know, right? He's like, this episode is brought to you by the beautiful the buttery bu- biscuits of Bojangles. But he really means it. You guys oh, will gosh. become believers. Oh, I, I don't doubt that for oh. a second, dude. That's hey, listen, oh, gosh. no no joke. That's where we're going for lunch. Uh, we have to now. Uh, there's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, seriously, sweating in my car right now. Sweating <laughs> in my car. <laughs> oh gosh! Uh, sweating. Oh gosh! Or the title could be "Sweating in the Yukon." I don't know. Something. Uh, does, it go oh, from, does our sponsor go from Chipotle to Bojangles? Yes, uh, it clearly does. Chipotle's fire does now. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Oh, that's so good. I can't believe it. I was going to say we've talked way too much about a competitor, but is Chipotle really a competitor to Bojangles? No, no. <laughs> no Nobody no, no. who goes to Bojangles is like, oh, you know what? Let's go to Chipotle instead. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I think that's a slight yeah, If they slide the turn biscuits in, like that. Is, yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so Michael Guthrie's oh, real, question, real question is the following. Okay. Yeah, Ready? we got to close this down even earlier. I need to get some biscuits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. Who else yeah, bought? Yeah, exactly. The, who else bought the hashtag TGT okay. pre-order pack? What is the hashtag TGT? Oh, Lord. I don't uh, even know. On. Okay, go ahead. Uh, who, <laughs> does anybody know who else bought the hashtag TGT pre-order pack? What's TGT? What am I missing? I think that's the... um. That's the thing from Hearthstone. Oh, the Grand Tournament. Thank you. Uh, the grand that, tournament, makes, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I ended up with two good legendary cards. Really? Ooh. Whoa. I didn't All even right. know there was a pre-order pack. Yeah, they had, they had an announcement on it, and I think you could... You got it in the... Sh it was in the shop, I think. But, uh, yeah. Now How that, much was it? Uh, don't know. Oh, I gosh. think it was like... So you know how those other shows promote like Nature Box and <laughs> stuff like that? Uh, we should have Biscuit Box. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're just going on a tangent now, man. This is awesome. You could uh, ship those things, right? They won't oh, be as sure. Good, but... Sure. Uh, you could definitely them. dedicate like seven minutes of the show to, to Bojangles. Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, just, keep saying the, just keep saying and them. They're, there. And they're buttery <laughs> and biscuits. They're buttery. <laughs> mention them. When, you, when you post the update for the show this week, please mention Bojangles. Bojangles. There like, you go. Put them as, it, like, mention them so they see it. Yeah. We need to make sure Bojangles listens to the show. They're going to be so <sighs> mad. Awesome. No, they're going to be happy. We, all we do is talk good about them. That That's is right. true. With their oh, beautiful gosh. buttery okay. biscuits. No, I didn't buy a pre No, we didn't. The, we didn't either. But hey, what two good legendary cards? What that. two good legendary uh, cards did either. you get? That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, uh, I love yeah, no, to hear about the grand them. biscuit. <laughs> the, <laughs> the legendary biscuit. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. All right. All right, I think that's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're yeah, done. Thank you, everybody, for all the questions and for putting us putting up with us and our. Shenanigans. Yeah, with us. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Paul, that thank you. Craziness. Thank you. That just made my day. I was literally crying. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. Thanks, Hall. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Good job, brother. <laughs> They're the best. <sighs> All right. Well, well Patillo, let us get us out. Yeah. <laughs> get us out of here. <laughs> I, I can't I can't even like I can't even think straight. <laughs> I am so glad I put the thought of those biscuits in your guys' head. Uh, yes, you really love them. <laughs> You sure did. You are going to oh, love him. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, I'm Gabe Patillo. <laughs> <laughs> that is Tim Router. <laughs> that is Timothy, the Bojangles biscuit loving Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and we are married to the games and we are up out this thing. Peace. Peace.